we estimate detailed full body shape and texture from monocular RGBD sequences. Previous methods take depth data from a few static scans of a person in a fixed pose. Widely available RGBD sensors, however, capture sequences of depth maps as well as relatively high resolution color images. Here, we use monocular sequences of depth and color data to obtain more information about body shape. We go further and allow the user to move freely in front of the sensor. We find that complex motion sequences provide information about body shape, including soft tissue motion and the appearance of hard to see body parts. Our novel approach exploits temporal continuity of shape and appearance to combine both depth and color data from monocular RGBD sequences captured with a single connect. This allows a user to dance or play their favorite video game while our system reconstructs their body shape and texture, with quality resembling that of a high-resolution 3D scanner. To achieve this, we introduce a new parametric 3D body model, called Delta. Like Scape, Delta is a 3D mesh model that represents any body shape in any pose. Unlike Scape, however, Delta defines a parametric shape model at multiple resolutions. This enables a coarse-to-fine optimization process and exploits input data of varying resolution. We use separate models for men and women at two different resolutions. To provide high realism without increasing model complexity, Delta combines this relatively low polygon count mesh with high resolution displacement and texture maps. The displacement map captures realistic, high resolution shape details. Our goal is to estimate the body shape, displacement map and texture map, as well as the pose at every frame. We can then animate the model efficiently from motion capture data. Body shape is represented using a low dimensional space of principal components, at two resolutions. We show variations between plus and minus three standard deviations for the first 10 components of the high and low resolution shapes. To model facial shape with higher detail than body, Delta combines the PCA shape space for the full body with the second head specific shape space. This provides a compact model that can capture face shape detail efficiently. We show a detail of 10 head shape principal components in the facial close up. We tested our approach on 13 subjects, capturing different dynamic sequences for each subject with a single connect. For each sequence, we show the original Connect RGB frame in the lower left, our reconstruction of the shape and pose in the middle, and the shape and appearance models estimated from the sequence. For reference, we also show the pose estimated by the Connect. Note that we do not use this pose in our approach. Rather, it enables comparison between the nature and quality of the standard Connect output and the output of our method. For our results, we show the estimated body shape in blue, with the mesh quad structure visible. In beige, we show this shape plus the estimated high resolution displacement map. Finally, we also show the model with a high resolution texture map recovered from the RGB sequence. For each subject, we captured four or more sequences, including one in which the subjects were instructed to follow a simple scanning protocol, and several in which they were allowed to move freely. We captured subjects in both a lab setting and a natural home living room environment. Subjects wear form fitting clothing, as is common in body scanning applications. The recovered shape detail is most visible in the beige version of the body, which illustrates the high-resolution displacement map. Note that the details resemble those of a high-resolution laser scanner. Our approach is able to robustly track subject motion and estimate detailed shape and appearance without losing any prior information about the motion sequence. By allowing subjects to move in a non-rigid space, our algorithm is able to observe detail at different spatial resolutions and capture regions of the body that are difficult to image otherwise, like the soles of the feet. By tracking the body over time, we are able to estimate pose even when parts of the body are out of the field of view, or when the subject turns around. In such situations, the connect pose estimation often fails. Please see the paper for a numerical comparison to a high quality commercial scanner and a commercial connect based scanning application. We capture subjects with and without several high frequency stamp patterns. In the paper, we use these patterns to analyze the accuracy of our texture estimates. They are not necessary for accuracy, and actually sometimes reduce it because they confuse the range sensor. Note that the recovered body shape does not vary much within the type of sequence. This is quantitatively verified in the paper. In a real application, this means that subjects can be quite free in how they move, making body scanning easier and more fun. We go beyond existing static body scanners to also capture soft tissue motions. Here, we show the meshes aligned to each connect frame, and regularized to be similar to the estimated body shape. One can see subtle, non-rigid shape deformations are picked up by our method. These could be used to analyze or model soft tissue dynamics. We experience a small number of cases in which the body reconstructions obtained by our algorithm are not satisfactory. 
Here, we show all three cases out of more than 60 sequences in which the algorithm failed to provide a reasonable body shape and pose. These cases include a very fast motion, a person running completely out of the depth frame, and a problem with very dark hair, which is not captured well by Connect. High quality body scanners can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, and users are required to stand perfectly still. Dynamic scanners that capture high resolution body shape and texture are available only as expensive research systems. By combining information from color and depth data across an entire RGBD sequence, we estimate an accurate body shape, high resolution displacement map, and high resolution texture. Our results suggest that full body scanning with a single connect may be a viable alternative to an expensive scanning system.